Gene, it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Every day. Yes. Continuously. Ah, yes. And I finally figured out the uh, National Weather Service does not consider it hot until it's 110 degrees. Hmm. I wonder who came up with that. Uh... I don't know. I'm sure there was a, um, a study, probably several committees, and then uh, it bounced back and forth between uh, Phoenix and Washington before they uh, finally decided. Well, you know, those uh, big studies, they got to go along. They like those studies. Big, big studies. Yes. We're going to study it. You know, and how... then we're going to study it some more. Yes. If they had spent the money fixing the Salton Sea or the new river that they spent on studies, it would have been done years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well. A study for a study. We'll, we'll study like it that. again. Yeah. And again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a new study out uh, right into this. Shows drinking too much coffee can reduce the positive effects of exercise. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard that. Yeah, and just to clarify, coffee jitters do not qualify as exercise. Co co coffee jitters or something yes. like that, huh? Okay. Let's see. I The only jitters I get from coffee is when I don't have it. Mm-hmm. Are well, you ready people, for birthday? You know, it, some people are one way and some are the other. Uh, that's what makes the world go, go round. round. Yeah. Yes. All right. You said, uh, are we ready for the birthdays? Yes. yes we are. Okay. Actress Michelle Lee, 78. Uh, singer Arthur Brown. Crazy world of Arthur Brown, 78. Actor, director George Stanford Brown is 77. He was on... Um, I believe Miami Vice, origi not Miami Vice, uh, 22 Jump Street, one of the cop shows back in the 70s. The guitarist Jeff Beck, 76. And let's see, uh, singer Colin Blonestone of The Zombies, 75. Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac, 73. Actor Peter Weller, 73. And uh, John Ilsley of Dire Straits, 71. Actress Nancy Allen of RoboCop is 70. That's funny. Peter Weller, wasn't he RoboCop? I, yeah. I think you. Yeah, and his co-star share the same birthday. Okay. Okay. Actor Joe Penny, 64. Actor Lane Glenn, 59. And uh, actress Danielle Spencer, 55. Actress Sherry Stringfield, 53. Actor, actress, rather, Carla Gallo, 45. Actor Amir Talai is 43. Actress Mindy Kaling is 41. Actress Minka Kelly, 40. Actress Vanessa Ray, 39. Actor Justin Hires is 35. Singer Solange Knowles is 34. Uh, she is uh, Beyonce's sister. Actor Max Eric is uh, 29. And actress Beanie Feldstein is 27. Let's hear it for the beanie, okay? Yeah. Okay. Local birthdays coming, coming up. up. Wash your hands, avoid sick people, and touching your face. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. Brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. Let's celebrate our KXO birthdays. Happy birthday, Bailey Young, Quinn Powers, Myra Lopez, Richard Thompson, Frida Romero, Juanita Crosby, Shannon Sanchez, Juan Hernandez, Frank Rodden, Mike Rosas, Steve Irving, Rachel Beltran, Doris Kennedy, Jenny Alvarado, June Milano, Oscar Martinez, Rosa Ramos, Sarah Caldwell, and Terry LaDonna. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay. I, and, Gene, I understand uh, there's going to be a, um, a civil lawsuit filed. It seems uh, the L.A. City Councilman, Wizar, was uh, collecting millions in bribes to include a $10,000 a month uh, stipend from one developer. And mm. uh, in Calexico, uh, you could only get 35000 split two ways. Yeah, in a brown paper bag. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. You know. Make it cash money, please.
Yeah, that is so totally unfair, right? Uh, very unfair. Yes. I wanted to, to mention, uh, you know, as well as I do, it's been talked about a lot, and it will be for a good number of months to come, the uh, bridge uh, removal and then uh, rebuilding and whatnot and how they're going to um, do a detour down uh, 4th Street. Yes. I was there yesterday, and you know the problems that we've had with lights, signal lights at 4th Street. That is a disaster waiting to happen. I mean, that is going to be a mess. Yep. You've got two signal mess. lights right on top of each other, and they're not synchronized. Not at all. And the length of time that uh, they have, I don't care. You can choose your direction. It's yep. unbelievable. Anyway, guys, that needs to be fixed. Okay. I will study it and come up with a with solution. A, with a plan. Yeah. Okay. Right now, we'll come up with some news if you're ready. I'm ready. World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist for sales for service. Call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News update. Some closely watched primaries, even though results could take a while, they could change the face of Washington. In New York, challenger Jamal Bowman is going against longtime incumbent Elliot Engel. The results show that this district is demanding change. This is what this district has been waiting for. This is what this country has been waiting for. Also in New York. Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, who represents part of Manhattan. She leads the House Oversight Committee and holds just a narrow lead over Suraj Patel, a younger liberal opponent that she defeated back in 2018. And some important races down south, correspondent Ed O'Keefe. In Kentucky, the Democratic Senate primary remains a toss-up between moderate Amy McGrath and liberal state representative Charles Booker, who also surged in recent weeks thanks to increased focus on the case of Breonna Taylor in Louisville. They're competing to take on Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell in November. CBS News Update, I'm Cammie McCormick. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Cure, certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. The number of COVID-19 cases in the state continues to rise, alarming health officials who say many apparently thought the health crisis was over when things reopened and aren't practicing social distancing. We have seen the opposite. They get frustrated. They think it's conspiracy. They politicize it. Um, and then there were some passionate things that happened with, you know, the, the protests. So you add all those little ingredients to this fire. Dr. Armand Dorian at USC Verdugo Hills Hospital, L.A. County, with over 2,000 new coronavirus infections since Tuesday. L.A. City Councilman Jose Wezar arrested, accused of running a pay-for-play criminal enterprise. The case lays out a sordid tale of how Mr. Wezar and his cronies sold themselves to the highest bidder. U.S. Attorney Nick Hanna saying an investigation is ongoing. Everyone involved in criminal activity will be charged. We are facing 20 years in prison if convicted. Families hoping to go camping at Yosemite National Park this summer will have to wait a little longer. Reservations now canceled through July 31st. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. Your year-round comfort specialist for sales, installation, or service. Call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. This is Derek's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. After the third time jump-starting my car, I finally realized my battery was dying. So I stopped by O'Reilly to have it checked. They tested it right there in the parking lot. It was bad, real bad. But they helped me find the right battery for my car and even installed it for free. Now my car starts like new. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. At JCPenney, we know you miss us, and we miss you. 
So, what if we said we had a store that's open all day, every day? We do. It's jcp.com or the JCPenney app. Need a swimsuit? We've got them. Something new and cute for summer? Look no further. Exclusive JCPenney brands plus your favorite national brands? Yes and yes. Check our site for the latest coupons. And when you spend $49 or more, standard shipping is free. JCPenney. Exclusions apply. See jcp.com for details. It's page one of the local news, page one of the service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Wednesday morning, COVID-19, here is an update with George Gale. It was released at 8.30 yesterday morning. According to the report released by the County of Public Health Department, the death toll from COVID-19 is now at 68. There have been 24,686 patients tested for the virus, 19,213 tested negative. However, 5,270 tested positive. Of the positive, 4,334 have recovered, leaving 868 active cases of COVID-19 in Imperial County. To date, there have been 1,753 positive COVID-19 cases in Calexico. 1,391 have been reported in El Centro. 879 in Brawley and 464 positive uh, COVID-19 cases have been recorded in Imperial. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. The Optum uh, Serve testing site now in Calexico will be moving to Brawley. The Imperial County Public Health Department says that the site was originally at the California Midwinter Fairgrounds and then moved to the Calexico Community Center It'll move to the Brawley Senior Center on Monday. That's this coming Monday, June 29th. The operating hours will remain Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The second Optum Serve site at the Imperial Veterans Hall will remain in Imperial. Anyone may make an appointment for testing at either site, and there is no cost. No physician referral is needed. More information and access to the Optum serve site to schedule an appointment is available through the county health department's website. KXO News Time 742. To show their gratitude to Frontline or essential workers, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro have something very special. For all Ford Pass Rewards members who are considered Frontline or essential workers, they give you the works service package through June 30th. Now, the offer applies to current or new Ford Pass Rewards members who are frontline or essential workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Not a Ford Pass Rewards member? See your Quick Lane Service Advisor for details. In other local news, the census caravan. I've seen uh, some cars around town. George Gale explains. They will next be in Calexico. The caravan will start at 6 p.m. tonight. They will start at Rockwood Park. They'll have, they will share, honk, and fill out some questionnaires to help the city of Calexico receive the funding it needs. It is sponsored by the Imperial County, City of Calexico, and Census 2020. Everyone will be asked to observe all safety recommendations, practice social distancing, avoid groups of 10 or more, wear face masks, and if you're sick, just stay home. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service and the Imperial Irrigation District have been uh, issued notices of violation by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. The notices were issued because of work at the Red Hill Bay Project near Calipatria. The ICA PCD says that the United States uh, Fish and Wildlife Service and the IID have failed to implement dust control on the Salton Sea Playa during the project that is aimed at creating hundreds of acres of shallow marine wetlands and reducing airborne dust from the playa exposed by the receding Salton Sea. The Red Hill Bay Project is uh, located uh, near the southeast corner of the Salton Sea. The property is owned by the IID, and the project is a joint effort of the district and the Fish and Wildlife Service. The county says that construction on the site has been sporadic, causing numerous instances of elevated levels of airborne dust. The local APCD system 
uh, says uh, or says that as of this current month, the site is still producing multiple uh, events of excessive airborne dust uh, violating the APCD's rules and threatening public health and safety. The local APD, APCD says that they are committed to working with the uh, Imperial Irrigation District and the Fish Wildlife Service to bring them into conformity as soon as possible. And in a written statement, the IID said regarding the violations alleged by the Air Pollution Control District, the Imperial Irrigation District will collaborate with the state of California and federal governmental agencies to assist in implementing, uh, implementing desert dust uh, mitigation projects at the Salton Sea, including Red Hill Bay. That will conclude this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley. In the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. With interest rates at all-time lows, now is the time to own the home of your dreams. Our team is here for you to come and check out our spacious homes with large lots. Phase 37 is sold out, but Phase 38 is now available for sale, and the home of your dreams is waiting for you. Vista Del Valle, the premier community in Imperial, with wide streets, a neighborhood park, and it's the only new home community located in the highly rated Imperial School District. Vista Del Valle, where strangers become friends, families bond, and houses become homes. Located at the intersection of Austin and Brewer Road in Imperial. Models will be shown by appointment only. Call Terry Lynn Minville at 760-791-2368. That's 760-791-2368 to set up your viewing. Come visit us today. Vista Del Valle. Page two of the local news and weather. Brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. Continuing with more local news, Annette Butner in court recently. Here's more on that story. She made two motions. The Imperial County Board of Education member made uh, two motions to dismiss charges against her. Butner is being charged with two counts of perjury, one count of filing a false declaration of candidacy, and one count of grand theft. Both motions filed were denied. Her next court date was set for July 9th at Superior Court in El Centro. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. U.S. Border Patrol agents seized nearly 25 pounds of fentanyl uh, Monday afternoon. The incident occurred at the Highway 86 checkpoint near Salton City. A 31-year-old man driving an SUV approached the checkpoint, and a Border Patrol, Patrol uh, K-9 team alerted to the vehicle. In secondary inspection, agents located 11 packages hidden behind the glove uh, compartment. The packages contain 24.9 pounds of fentanyl with a street value estimated at over $875,000. The man, a legal permanent resident, was turned over to the Drug Enforcement Administration. November general election in the news uh, this morning. Here's more on that story. It will be held November 3rd. Declaration of candidacy will begin July 13th and continue until 5 p.m. August 7th. If an incumbent fails to file by that deadline, filing period will be extended until 5 p.m. August 12th. There will be several school and special districts on the November ballot. Cities of Brawley, Calexico, Calipatria, El Centro, Hauteville, Imperial, and Westmoreland will have candidates on the ballot as well. City candidates must file with their respective city clerks. Any questions on the November general election should be directed at the Registrar of Voters' Office. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And we'll be back with a look at the weather. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. 
11. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. The National Weather Service says hot and dry conditions under strong high pressure aloft will last for another few days before a gradual cooling trend begins this weekend. The Imperial and Yuma Valleys are expected to be reaching highs near 110 through Friday. Starting Sunday, a strong low pressure system approaching the region from the northwest will bring noticeably cooler temperatures, breezy to windy conditions, with a slight increase in moisture levels. For early next week, below normal temperatures are expected, while relatively dry conditions are likely to prevail under mostly clear skies. 109, the high yesterday, 76 are low. Mostly sunny today with a high near 109. Southeast wind about 5 miles an hour. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 77. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday will be sunny and hot with a high near 110. Southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Turning out of the southwest in the afternoon. 82 degrees downtown, 45% relative humidity. The wind calm. Page two of the local news and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. Have you been a victim of a crime or have you witnessed a crime? The Imperial County District Attorney's Office is here to provide you with support and resources that are available through the Victim Witness Assistance Program. Our mission is to help you cope with the aftermath of victimization. We have trained and experienced victim advocates to help guide you through the criminal criminal justice process. To get the guidance and support you need, please contact the Imperial County Victim Witness Assistance Program at 442-265-1175. That's 442-265-1175. Funding made possible through the United States Department of Justice Victims of Crime Act 2018, V2270180. It's sports time. Hey, are you ready? Baseball. Start of spring training, July 1st. Opening day, July 24th. And the trade deadline, August 31st. End of the regular season, somewhere around September 27th. The end of the postseason. <laughs> yeah, they'd be playing into Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And now, how about the economics of uh, the deal? Well, Mike Trout. Poor Mike's going to have to get by on just $14 million in prorated salary. Garrett Cole, just $13.3 million. Yeah, Zach Granke, uh, Granke will get $13 million prorated. Yeah, these are guys all making over $35 million a year. Yeah, that they lose a lot of money. But on the other end, the league minimum, 563000 per season. So the 60-game prorated minimum works out to about $208,000. Yeah, they can handle it better, trust me. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Vegas has already picked the favorites. Yeah, the Yankees and the Dodgers are the consensus favorites to win the World Series. Yeah. We'll wait and see. Let's band together. The El Centro Regional Medical Center Foundation has created a live stream virtual concert. Band together for COVID-19 relief will bring our community together through music and will feature outstanding local artists of all ages and genre who support the foundation's mission to provide for our local healthcare heroes and the patients they serve. You can support this effort through sponsorships and by tuning in on Saturday, June 27th at 5 p.m., Band Together for COVID-19 Relief will feature Jerry DeMara, 36 Bridges, Anthony Sobolewski, Misery Whistle, Ruben Hernandez, and many others, including celebrity guest appearances. Band Together for COVID-19 Relief, bringing our community together and raising funds to help support El Centro Regional Medical Center's fight against COVID-19 pandemic. There's more information available at bandtogetheriv.org. Band together for COVID-19 relief. Well, Lakers guard Avery Bradley has opted out of playing in the NBA's Orlando restart of the season. At the forefront of Bradley's decision to remain is with his family is the well-being of his oldest child, his six-year-old son, Liam. Uh, Liam has a history of uh, respiratory illnesses. 
Meanwhile, Graham McDowell withdrew from the Travelers Championship after being informed that his caddy has tested positive for the coronavirus. And Cameron Champ became the second golfer on the PGA Tour to test positive. He's withdrawn from the uh, Travelers Championship as well. That's it for Sports Time. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Imperial Valley's Roto-Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. The Dow down 500 points amid the, the resurgence of the coronavirus cases and rising trade tensions. The S&P 500 off 55, and the Nasdaq down 135 on early trading. Meanwhile, gold up $4.10 an ounce, and oil off $1.47 a barrel. The U.S. stocks, uh, well, fresh data showed an acceleration of COVID-19 cases in the U.S., and that could threaten the reopening of businesses in some states. The uh, Wall Street Journal reported that Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis are increasing uh, reinforcement of social distancing protocols, while California Governor Gavin Newsom, which saw reported more than 5,000 new cases, uh, also has been stepping up precautions to prevent the possible second wave of the disease. Meanwhile... Shares of Dell Technologies up 7.5% after the Wall Street Journal reported the company was examining options, including a spin-off of its roughly $50 billion stake in VMware as the PC maker seeks to boost the value of its shares. Apple was up four-tenths of a percent. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. It will be mostly so. Sunny today with a high near 109, southeast wind about 5 miles an hour. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 77, southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, sunny and hot with a high near 110, southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then shifting out of the southwest tomorrow afternoon. 83 degrees downtown, 42% relative humidity right now. The wind is calm. Uh, that's it. For financial news and the weather, brought to you by Roto-Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. When drains don't work, they do. Coming up, CBS News on the Hour from around the world. When you have a chance, check out our website, news, weather, information, good stuff, kxoradio.com. And, of course, uh, interesting things on our Facebook page always. And did you know the uh, newscast we just finished? It's available on YouTube. Yeah, let your friends and neighbors out of the valley know about it. There's never been a better time to purchase a pre-owned vehicle from Rogers & Rogers Kia with a huge selection of sedans, SUVs, trucks, and vans. All, All prices sell. sell during our pre-owned inventory summer sales event. Shop us online at rrkia.com today. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank.
I'm Deborah Rodriguez. A new sign we're a long way from a return to normal. One of the biggest races in the world has just been scrubbed because of the pandemic. And here he is, Jeffrey Camwer of Kenya breaking the tape. Organizers say the New York City Marathon will not happen this year. It was scheduled for November 1st. Coronavirus cases are on the rise in 26 states now. Texas, Arizona and Washington each reporting new daily records. With infections on the rise again in Florida, workers at Walt Disney World say they now have more than 7,000 signatures on a petition urging the company to delay reopening its theme park in Orlando. Stocks are dropping amid the new wave of cases. The Dow right now down 508 points. The union says baseball players will begin reporting to spring training July 4th after they cut a deal with MLB owners for a shortened season of 60 games. Nets play-by-play -play announcer Howie Rose. It was a much bumpier road than we expected, and it was unfortunate that there was so much ill will exposed publicly between the players and the owners. Play will begin in late July. Major victory for the Trump administration and one of the president's former national security advisors. Correspondent Stephen Portnoy has the story from Washington. The appeals panel split two to one in slapping down Judge Emmett Sullivan and ordering him to dismiss the case against Michael Flynn. Trump appointee Naomi Rao's opinion says Judge Sullivan committed a clear legal error in not granting the Justice Department's motion to have the case thrown out. Flynn admitted in court that he lied to FBI agents, but Sullivan resisted the government's motion to dismiss. Arguing there's evidence the FBI mishandled the Flynn matter, Attorney General Bill Barr personally directed the move to have the case tossed. A hearing gets underway on Capitol Hill soon on allegations of political interference by the Justice Department. A former prosecutor is expected to tell Congress the department gave the president's friend Roger Stone special treatment in the Russia investigation. He was sentenced to three years. More fallout over a controversial newspaper ad. CBS's Jim Crisula has the update. The Tennessean newspaper in Nashville has fired its advertising manager over a full-page ad from a religious group predicting a terrorist attack in the city next month. It claimed a nuclear device would be detonated in Nashville in an attack carried out by unspecified interest of Islam. In the sky over Moscow. A military flyover to mark the Soviets' victory over the Nazis in World War II. Thousands of Russians watched a military parade march through the streets of the capital. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open a new savings account with a rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A., member FDIC. At JCPenney, we know you miss us, and we miss you. So, what if we said we had a store that's open all day, every day? We do. It's jcp.com or the JCPenney app. Need a swimsuit? We've got them. Something new and cute for summer? Look no further. Exclusive JCPenney brands, plus your favorite national brands? Yes and yes. Check our site for the latest coupons. And when you spend $49 or more, standard shipping is free. JCPenney. Exclusions apply. See jcp.com for details. <laughs> There is nothing more comforting than a hot shower, a cozy home, or your favorite home-cooked meal. And knowing that you can do so affordably when you most need it. For decades, families and businesses have relied on Southwest Gas for clean and affordable natural gas. And Southwest Gas is committed to serving you with essential natural gas for decades to come. To learn about the benefits of natural gas and energy-saving tips, go to SWGas.com. Say goodbye to a favorite mode of transportation for mall cops. The Segway has captured our imagination. That Discovery Channel video may have been true at one time, but apparently it's been a long time. Segway says it will stop making its classic Segway PT next month. The stand-up two-wheeler was popular with law enforcement agencies and tourists, but it's also been known for some spectacular high-profile crashes. The company says it only accounts for about 1.5% of its total revenue. Peter King, CBS News. Cabin fever? Not George R.R. R. Martin. Thanks to the coronavirus quarantine, the Game of Thrones author says he's been able to make steady progress on the long-awaited winds of winter. In a post on his website, he says he's been holed up in his mountainside cabin, spending long hours writing every day. Martin predicts it'll be a huge book wrapped up by next year. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Balance of nature, changing the world one life at a time. I certainly do have uh, 
uh, an increased energy level. I get treatments every eight weeks, and that really kind of slows me down and, uh, you know, uh, makes me very tired for a few days. But I seem to be getting over that much quicker now that I'm taking your products. Balance of Nature is now offering 35% off on any new preferred order. Go to balanceofnature.com today and use discount code FRUITS. I've always wanted to learn another language, so I decided to give Babbel a try, and I really like the teaching method of the app. I started with the beginner lesson on Babbel, and soon you're putting words into a conversation. Each lesson takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and they're all really different, which keeps things interesting. I can't wait to use my Spanish skills in real life. Dos cervezas, por favor. <laughs> now try Babbel free. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for... Carol Buckley. Things he says and, like, like you can connect to them. AM 1230 KXO. Let's band together. The El Centro Regional Medical Center Foundation has created a live stream virtual concert. Band Together for COVID-19 Relief will bring our community together through music and will feature outstanding local artists of all ages and genre who support the foundation's mission to provide for our local healthcare heroes and the patients they serve. You can support this effort through sponsorships and by tuning in on Saturday, June 27th at 5 p.m. Band together for COVID-19 relief will feature Jerry Damara, 36 Bridges, Anthony Sobolewski, Misery Whistle, Ruben Hernandez, and many others, including celebrity guest appearances. Band together for COVID-19 relief, bringing our community together and raising funds to help support El Centro Regional Medical Center's fight against COVID-19 pandemic. There's more information available at bandtogetheriv.org. Band together for COVID-19 19 relief. 